Hey, what's going on? I'm Apprentice Demond. In this video, we're gonna be doing a test against nothing. We're gonna do a test of Propel um, electrolyte water, okay? Let's go ahead and pour this up. Ooh, it has a little pressure to it. So this is made by Gatorade, all right? Um, so this is gonna account for all of your, your Gatorades, your Powerades, um, all those electrolyte drinks that you see in in sports, right? You see the NFL athletes promoting this all the time, okay? And we're going to be putting it up to the test against our electrolyte reduced water here. All right. First thing we are testing it for is antioxidants. And this one is at the top of the list, the most important thing because... We aging, y'all. The moment we came out of the womb, we used to have all these things around us known as free radicals. They have been taking electrolytes, take, sorry, taking the electrons from our healthy cells, and that creates oxidation and inflammation. And those two things are linked to every single health disease known to man. That oxidation, that inflammation, it creates aging, rust, dis-ease in the body, okay? Um, and it's positively charged, and we don't want that to happen. So we consume antioxidants. Your fruits, your vegetables, your vitamin A, vitamin C, vitamin E. When we consume these, guess what? We're gonna lower that oxidation, reduce that inflammation. Inflammation is any type of itis, by the way. Um, and we're gonna essentially stay looking young. So we're gonna test these beverages for antioxidants using this meter here, this ORP meter, oxidative reduction potential. And if we see a positive number, that means it is oxidizing and creating more sickness in the body. If we see a negative number, it is an antioxidant and it's the fountain of youth. So let's see what we get here with Propel. This is a grape. I smell the grape too. <laughs> let's see what we get with Propel. Wow, all right. Wow, we are getting 364. Okay, so this is very, very oxidizing, okay? 360, it ain't moving. It's barely moving, it's 360. As far as uh, this Propel goes, it's very oxidizing, all right? Let's go ahead and compare this to our electrolyzed reduced wire. Let's see what we get. Oh, wow, all right. So, looks like we got negative 720, okay? This is a negative, so that means this is a very, very strong antioxidant. And shaking it up a little bit, we get it up to about 7.47, okay? Um, and it looks like, if I was a guess, one of the reasons why this is very oxidizing, it's probably because of all the sugar that's in it, okay? <laughs> this thing is full of sugar, okay? Um, yeah, so there you have it. That is Propel. And as we see already, this is oxidizing us, so we really don't wanna consume it. And in fact, if you're an athlete, more than likely you're not consuming this, you're getting paid sponsoring it, okay? Um, any professional is not really consuming this. They're dumping it on the coaches, all that type of stuff because they know this isn't gonna give them peak performance. But regardless, let's move on to our next test. All right, our second test is on alkalinity and this one is important as well. Not as important as the antioxidants, but this one's vitally important because we want to keep our blood slightly alkaline, okay? It's not about our stomach acid or it's not about keeping our stomach's pH. It has nothing to do with that. It's all about our blood, okay? Because our blood carries the electrolytes throughout our body, okay? Is the, is the source, okay? And so that potassium, that magnesium, that sodium, um, all those things you want to keep in your blood, okay? And if we don't have those from the things that we're consuming, if we're eating cookies and ice creams and cakes all the time, fast food, all that stuff is acidic and it's gonna end up eating the minerals and electrolytes in our body. And if we don't have anything to balance that out, guess what? Our body's gonna start taking it from us. It's gonna start taking it from our skin. That's how we get eczema. So we end up itchy and scratchy all the time. It's gonna start taking it from our bones and our joints and our ligaments. And we aren't going to be able to play those sports. We aren't going to be able to do the football, the basketball, any of those sports because we're going to be hurting all the time. It's going to start taking it from our legs, our joints, our knees, our ankles. And if we continue, 
we can get osteoporosis or even Alzheimer's. So we gotta balance it out. We gotta push out that acidity and the best way to do it is have and consume things that are alkaline. So, got some pH drops here. I'm gonna put them in both of these beverages. If we see a red or orange or yellow, we know that it's acidic and it's eating the minerals and electrolytes in our body. However, if we see a purple, blue, purple or dark purple, we know it's alkaline, all right? Let's see what we get here when it comes to Great Propel. All right, real quick, before I do this, if you're curious on what beverage you want or that you should be drinking to stay hydrated, regardless of if you're working out, regardless of what sports you're playing, you wanna check this out here. And guess what, I have a free masterclass that breaks down how this water helps you out so you don't have to spend thousands of dollars every year in stores buying bottled stuff, how it saves the environment, and ultimately improves your health overall. Click that link in the description section of this right below this video. Click that link and you can check out more about it. All right, let's get back to this test. All right. And as we see, Propel is acidic. This is acidic. Okay. <laughs> so I don't see athletes, not, not good athletes anyhow drinking this and using it for superior performance, okay? Um, this, yeah, it's acidic, it's not oxidizing so far. And uh, there you have it. <laughs> this is acidic. Well, let's go ahead and jump on to our next test. All right, on to that third and final test, and I love to call it superior hydration, okay? This is what matters, especially after you get done working out, especially when it's game time. Being able to hydrate and replenish your electrolytes, being able to replenish that water that you have been losing during whatever extraneous activity we're doing, all right? And the best way we're gonna show this is with a tea bag, okay? Uh, and your water is actually great for all the supplements that these athletes are taking, right? If you're taking BCAAs, if you're taking protein, your water is your vehicle to help ensure that you get those supplements and those, those that nutrients to your muscles in your body, all right? Let's see what we get here with Propel and see if we're actually able to make tea, okay? And that is just gonna show how the water is able to, or this beverage is able to actually go through the tea bag and pull out the nutrients and ultimately make tea. Let's see if it can do it. Man, I don't know why, this is really, uh, <laughs> this is really cloudy. Wow, I don't know what's in there. Look at the ingredients. Water, citric acid, sodium hexamethyl phosphate. This is to protect flavor. Then there's salt, potassium, sorbate. All right, so as we see, this is not making that much tea. I don't know why, but it made it super cloudy though. <laughs> Probably don't think you make tea with Propel though, right? <laughs> All right, we got a little something in there. I don't know what it is though. But let's go ahead and check out how it does with electrolytes reduced water. All right, and look at that. We're actually able to make tea, right? That's crazy. <laughs> no hot water needed, just the right size, the right structure of water. Okay. I don't know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to give him one more chance, right? <laughs> I mean, clearly the bag was wet for the second one. Let's see how it works for the second go. It's not doing it. <laughs> it still did the same cloudiness, but man, this is not something that's hydrating. This isn't, mm -mm. all that sugar in it. <laughs> Let's go ahead and check this out one more time. Woo, I smell that grape. That grape is all over the place though. I smell it. Man, oh man. But it's just not doing it. It's not hydrating us. Um, and there you have it. This is, it's hydrating maybe a little bit, but nowhere near like a water would, okay? So there you have it. We tested Propel on this third one. So let's go ahead and wrap it all up, shall we? All right, we tested Propel for three specific things. 
The first one was antioxidants, and we saw that this is extremely oxidizing. All of that sugar, all of the citric acids, all that type of stuff in there, this is very oxidizing, okay? Uh, the second thing we tested it for was alkalinity, and we saw that this is acidic as well, okay? So if you are referring to this as your go-to beverage for, for sports, for being hydrated, for getting electrolytes, this is doing the exact opposite because we looked at the third thing, which is superior hydration, and we see that's not hydrating us. This is sugar, essentially sugar water, right? And once again, we are buying this stuff because we see the athletes promoting it, right? We see people getting, um, having their bottles and you see the Gatorade logo and all that type of stuff. Well, I'm telling you right now, they're promoting it, but that's not what they're drinking, okay? <laughs> they may drink it for a flavor, a little bit of it, but I'm telling you right now, they're drinking water, they're drinking high quality water because they are athletes, they get paid millions of dollars. And the Gatorade, if they are actually have it there, they're just dumping it on the coaches, okay? So, once again, <laughs> that's the end of this test. Propel, if you're trying to drink this for performance, uh, I would stay away from it. That's just my opinion. But if you are curious to see more videos like this, smash that subscribe button so you get more tips, tricks, and tactics to improve your wellness. And if you're looking for more information on this water, check out what I have for you coming up. Hey, thanks for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it and you learned a little something about the wires that we tested here today. Please take a moment to share this video with someone you care about who is also drinking this water. Finally, if you are serious about improving your health and the waters that you drink, click the link in the description below to access my Water Wellness Masterclass. In this masterclass, you will discover the truth about the waters we drink, the effects our water has on our health, and how you can have the world's best water in the comfort of your home and save thousands of dollars as a result. All right, go ahead, click that link in the description below, access that masterclass, and I will see you there real soon.